you tell me what is the most common cause of unilateral subluxated crystalline lens? Trauma. Excellent. What about bilateral one? Hereditary systemic disorder. are the common causes of inherited ectopia lentis? Sure, Marfin, well Marcassani, Hamasis dinuria, sulfide oxidase deficiency and hypermycinemia. Are all autosomal recessive? All are autosomal recessive except Marfin. Thanks. Marfan syndrome has abnormal formation of fibrillin 1 due to autosomal dominant. Elastin fibers are found throughout the body but are particularly abundant in the aorta, ligaments and the ciliary zones of the eye. Consequently, these areas are among the worst affected. Marfan syndrome is an autosomal dominant disorder. Remember to ask the patient about his family history and request for genetic analysis. By inspection, the patient has multiple skeletal deformities. He is thin and tall. His arm span is exceeding his height. On shaking hands, his fingers are long and tubular or chidectile. Ask the patient to open his mouth. There will be high arched palate. On removing his shirt, he has chest prominence or depression. Also, his back could be scoliotic or kyphotic. The patient usually wearing myopic glasses. Slit lamp examination will reveal supertemporal or nasal ectopial lens but with long intact zonules. It's important to dilate pupil to exclude retinal breaks and optic disc coupling, as some have association with glaucoma. They may be associated with coloboma iris and early cataract. The major sign that would lead a doctor to consider an underlying condition is a dilated aorta or an aortic aneurysm. An aortic dissection is most often fatal and presents with pain radiating down the back, giving a tearing sensation. Chest pain will be secondary to angina pectoris. Heart murmur and ECG changes will be due to prolapse of aortic or mitral valve. Marfan syndrome is a risk factor for spontaneous pneumothorax. This can cause pain, shortness of breath, cyanosis, and, if not treated, death. All secondary to pleural weakness. Dural ectasia in the lower back secondary to connective tissue weakness in the dura covering spinal cord. While Marcassani syndrome or inverted Marfan syndrome. It is characterized by brachydactyly, reduced growth, athletic build with abundant subcutaneous tissue, short neck and large thorax, short and clumsy hands and feet, decreased joint flexibility. Hearing defects, inheritable connective tissue disorder, usually inherited as an autosomal recessive. Its lens is characterized by spherofacula beside ectopia lentis. Refraction through the lens, that is thickened because of the relaxed zonules will be myopic, while refraction around the lens, essential effacia, will be hyperopic. Prophylactic iridotomy is important, as prophylactic from pupillary block glaucoma. Delayed carpal ossification is pathognomonic to wild Arcassani. Treatment of a lens dislodged into the anterior chamber is initially pharmacological with cyclolegia to permit posterior migration of the lens behind the iris in conjunction with ocular massage through a closed lid to promote this posterior migration. Surgical treatment will then be needed to prevent further complications. It is inherited disorder of the metabolism of the amino acid methanine, often involving cystathnine beta synthase. It is an inherited autosomal recessive trait. Homocystinuria represents a group of hereditary metabolic disorders characterized by an accumulation of homocysteine in the serum and an increased excretion of homocysteine in the urine.
It is characterized by Marfan leg in height and thin. He has flush across the cheeks. The life expectancy of patients with homocystinuria is reduced only if untreated. It is known that before the age of 30, almost one-fourth of patients die as a result of thrombotic complications. Ectopia lentis with downward dislocation is common in homocystinuria. Patients usually wearing myopic glasses. Fundus examination and IOP measurement are mandatory to exclude optic nerve cupping. Systemically, those patients suffer from atheroma formation and anabolic manifestation EGCRAO. It's common to have seizures and mental retardation. Neonatal methanine restriction and low protein diet help to prevent mental retardation and reduces the risk of lens dislocation and seizures. Many people are treated using high doses of vitamin B6. Six also known as pyridoxin. Most will need treatment with trimethylglycin. A normal dose of folic acid supplement and occasionally adding cystine to the diet can be helpful. Betaine is used to reduce concentrations of homocysteine by promoting the conversion of homocysteine back to methanine. To confirm homocysteinuria, plasma analysis for amino acids especially hypermethanemia and hypocysteinemia. Urine analysis with cyanide nitroprosa test is one of the important lab investigations. 12 drops of aqueous solution of sodium cyanide on the urine then agitated immediate change color from pink to beetroot color equals to the presence of this eophyte compound in urine, which is positive in both acetonuria and homocysteinuria. Silver nitroprosa test is a modification to test to exclude acetonuria. Sulfite oxide test deficiency is an inborn error of the metabolism of sulfated amino acids. Individuals affected with sulfite oxide test deficiency most commonly present in the neonatal period with intractable seizures, characteristic dysmorphic features, and profound mental retardation. In most cases, this disorder is fatal in infancy or early childhood. Survivors of sulfite oxide test deficiency often have profound mental retardation. Surgical intervention is mandatory in anisometropia amenable to treat or lens dislocation with subsequent complications.